everyone. Welcome to Eye to Eye, Kansas City. Thank you for joining us. Here's what's coming up on today's show. We're going to talk about the RNC that might be coming here to Kansas City if Kansas City plays its cards right. And the Ohio cities is also joining that group of wanting the RNC coming to some of its cities. And, of course, we'll talk about the Kansas City, Missouri School District, the future leaning down its own back right now. We'll talk about it in full detail in terms of the plans uh, that might rescue the Kansas City, Missouri School District. And let's talk about Clay Chastain one more again. Shall we? Or maybe? Or maybe not. Uh, this has something to do with the light rail plan and what a judge clean, uh, what a judge uh, makes constitutional, uh, deems con constitutional. We'll talk a little bit about that a little bit later on. Now, here's a little uh, moment. Kit Bond. We'll talk about Kit Bond, Missouri's own Republican Kit Bond, in terms of expansion with Medicare. We have that and a lot more coming up, including. We'll talk about the candidates of the Kansas City, Missouri School District Board. We'll talk about that here in just a moment. But first, let's get into the latest news and commentary real quickly. All right. Right now, what we're going to talk about first is uh, Clay Chastain. Uh, well, there's been some talk of Clay Chastain's plan in the news lately. And... Clay Chastain, a judge deemed that Clay Chastain's plan was constitutional. Uh, but Kansas City, Missouri, plan, uh, the uh, city of Kansas City, Missouri, rather, avoided to put, put this on out the ballot. But there's been... So could this mean light rail, streetcar might be out the door for Kansas City? I don't think so. I don't think this has a... I don't think people are going to go for Clay Chastain. All what people want is Clay Chastain to just get the hell out of Kansas City. It don't ever come back. That's all they want. And just sniff a little bit of money in their pockets. You'll notice why I said that on previous shows and I'm not changing my tune now. Clay Chastain, and just sum it up because I don't have a lot of time. We got a lot of news headlines to cover. Uh, Clay Chastain just needs to go home, dig in his little hole, and stay there. How about that? I'm not going to say nothing, nothing crazy yet. I'm saving that for later for uh, uh, Jordan Davis' case, so we'll talk about that here momentarily. All right. Moving on from that to the RNC, the, Nas the Republican National Convention, might land its spot here in Kansas City, or it may not. Well, what's needed for this uh, convention to come on? Well, there's a need for a few convention hotels, or at least a convention hotel near a convention center. There's not enough hotels, and is there a lost, rev lost income revenue for Kansas City w because of this? Hmm, we don't know. Some of us just don't know. Okay, now moving forward. There's a lot of plans with the Kansas City, Missouri School District, including the C-Trust plan, which separates good schools from bad schools and from so-so schools, of course. It's a comprehensive plan. Then there's another plan. And then it, Kansas City, Missouri School District has its own plan. But what is going to happen? The decision is going to be coming straight or in the near future and I believe in March, it should be coming around this month, I thought. But uh, as we've heard, uh, a, a decision and recommendations for the Kansas City, Missouri School District is to come very soon. So we'll keep you updated here on Eye to Eye, Kansas City. Now, moving forward, speaking of the school district, there has been changes to the transfer law. Now, unaccredited school districts will have to cover 70 uh, cent little can't get tongue-tied. Seven, let's start this again. 70% of un unaccredited school districts will have to cover uh, tuition costs. 5% uh, and also, oh, let's get, not get ahead of myself, 
will be covered for the transportation fees. And this is in response of, you know, uh, the financial obligations are really killing uh, some of the unaccredited school districts at this time. So that's what the change was all about in response to that. But will this still help Kansas City? Hmm, I don't think so. I don't know, but I don't think so. But given, let's go back to the res rescue plans just a little bit. I have a little bit of time to scream off. You know, uh, I think the community is in support of Dr. Green and Dr. Green's progress in terms of getting the school district together, um, trying to implement and, and, and bring stability on. And I think that's what the parents are on about. We talked about this uh, briefly last time, but I'm not going to hit on it too much this time around. Um, you know, I think parents want stability. They want results delivered in the classroom. And if they see those, and, and, and if parents can get involved, that will be greatly appreciated. And it, it should be mandatory for every single parent in the school district to attend parent-teacher conference, whether your child is good or bad. Now, if your child consistently is doing well in the classroom, then, well, and if you're a high school senior watching this program and think that your parents ought to come to parent teacher conference, that starts with your behind uh, being accountable. That starts with you being accountable. So I just want to bring that up. Now, moving forward, uh, we're going to talk about a Kit Bond. Uh, Kit Bond uh, is in support of expanding Medicare here in Missouri. The only Republican, <laughs> must I say. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw this, I said, Rrr. that's what I did it in the tease earlier. Uh, he, he approves of the expansion of Medicare. It is a, it, and Medicare is, of course, associated with big, big, big Obama, capital Obamacare. Uh, I think it's, I think it's a Republican trying to get money. You know how this thing works. Uh, you know, the, these Republicans want I don't think it has a chance of going anywhere. I don't know. I don't think it has a chance of going anywhere with uh, Kit Bond support. He just trying to say, let's get this money. Let's get this extra money. That's all they're looking at. It could, ha and you know, given that Medicare could be expanded on, it should. It would help a lot more people. It would give a lot more uh, bang for the buck for the citizens in Missouri that depend on Medicare for their health costs and, and uh, prescription costs and doctor costs. Those are ex those are high, and I know firsthand. Yes, I do. You know, hey, those costs are not cheap by any means. They are not cheap. If you have to go to a specialist, those old, you know, I don't even want to talk specialists uh, at this time. So, you know, those are just some of the... Um, Thing. Uh, that's just some of the things now. Just to reiterate with you that Kit Bond is pushing for <laughs> Medicare and the expansion, the expansion of Medicare. So we'll keep an eye on it. I don't think it's going to go anywhere, like I said. All right. Now, um, here's an uh, update for you. Remember when we told you about Derek Thomas's trouble and the uh, and its sponsor dropped off? Well, we have another charter school to, uh, to report on. And this is Hope Academy in Kansas City. It is going to lose the UMKC leadership or sponsorship, shall I say. Uh, the sponsorship, uh, UMKC says, is because of Hope's, of Hope's uh, poor test scores and academic performance. Uh, UMKC has placed uh, Hope Academy on uh, academic probation and this and that and the other. Let's just skip to it. Um, hasn't really performed too well and Hope Academy plans to appeal that particular decision and this is the same charter school that has when the state of Missouri the it board uh, the Missouri Board of Education came in and saw uh, uh, a misreporting of attendance records and so forth and uh, the curriculum wasn't on par well this is the same charter school now this is not to be uh, compared uh, to be paired with the charter school that just recently opened on Linwood, Hope Leadership Academy. Uh, no, that is not associated with this particular charter school. This is a totally different 
uh, school in the area. All right, now moving forward, we got a lot of things to still talk about here on Eye to Eye. And I'm going to go ahead and take a break. We'll be right back here on Eye to Eye, Kansas City. Don't go away. And when we return, we'll talk more on, on uh, one more issue. And we'll take you to a domestic violence forum. And I'll, we'll show you the uh, vendors that were there at this forum. And, of course, who got an award. We'll talk about that uh, here shortly. Stay with us. Thank you for coming. Ready? First question. Which of you is the most fuel-efficient luxury hybrid in America? Lincoln. So do either of you have a starting price exactly the same as your gas model? When you're looking for a luxury hybrid, make sure you ask the right questions. Hey, we're not finished. This is the 2014 Lincoln MKZ Hybrid. I can't believe Sonic put together the chili cheese dog and the pretzel dog. There is a merger in the works right now. Something you're working on? There is something world. that possibly in the near future might be called the chili cheese pretzel dog. There is one. I won't now. confirm it. Well, I might deny it, but I won't <laughs> confirm it. I'm holding one, so I understand. You didn't hear this from me. This I don't from understand me. what you're talking about. That's the way you play that. You can't know what you don't know. Get in on the merger. Chili cheese joins the pretzel dog lineup and start your day with the 99 cent morning drink stop. This is how you Sonic public school school board and we're going to talk about the candidates right now from the second sub district gunner hand is going to be running from the fourth sub district joseph jackson melissa robinson from the sixth sub district carl evans pamela pearson is also going to be running now who's holding the at-large seats is going to be janelle bailey Amy Hartsfield, or Hartsfield, should I say, Patty Mans Mansfer, Manser, should I say, and finally Katina Tra uh, Katrina Taylor. Now those Ooh, okay, you know, I think people are getting more interested. And I said I wasn't going to, when I was looking at this list here, you see that nine people filed to be on, to run for this school board. And I think, you know, management changes is somewhat needed for the school district. It needs a new drive, a new idea-driven uh, board that can get some results done. We need to deliver results. And I'm not going to spend too much time on it. This is going to, we're going to kind of update you as we go along here. Um... But those six, we're hoping to get a forum started here on Eye to Eye. Maybe a 30-minute forum, a whole show. We won't do news and commentary that particular day. We'll just do a forum, and we'll talk about different issues where each candidate stands. And, you know, get the icebreakers for you all to know. Now, there is an election in April. And if you want to, if those who are not registered to vote, you need to head over to kcresources.weebly.com. Again, that is kcresources.weebly.com. All right. And that place is also meant for domestic violence. And speaking of, it will help you get registered to vote and help you with help some of those that are dealing with domestic violence issues in your lives get you some quick resources we have those available on one stop shop page website page rather which is kcresources.weebly.com all right everyone now i'm going to take your attention over to speaking of domestic violence we're going to take you over to a domestic uh, violence forum which took place on the weekend of the 8th and we'll talk about that here in just a minute we'll talk about that prestigious honor here in just a minute but first a lot of vendors uh, came on board and talk about their businesses we'll talk a little bit more about that right now <laughs>
Alright, I'm ready. Uh, so, so what made you come and support this event today? Well, actually, I do, um, if you look at the poster over there, I do all her uh, print media. And so she asked me to come on, and domestic violence is a real problem in our country. So Tachi Studios is really proud to be a um, sponsor of this event. Um, Tachi Studios is a uh, video editing services. Uh, we also recently now offer graphic design and photography. Um, our first film that came out under us is uh, Optimistic Chaos, and it's about um, a local filmmaker and musician. They went to Haiti to take American roots music to Haiti, and unfortunately that's not how it turned out, but pretty much we provide video and video editing services. No matter what you're going through, there's hope. You know, although everybody knows that this actually happened in Haiti, and you know, as you know, a couple of years ago they had the big Haitian earthquake, and a lot of stuff is just bad there. But those people still have hope. Um, they still sell and they still celebrate life. So no matter how bad your situation is, you know, there's a reason for celebration. Uh, they can visit the website, TashiStudios.com, and click on films, and you can order the film directly from the website. Today, we're selling them here for 10 bucks, and a portion, a portion of the proceeds go to benefit the organization and this event. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, let, me, let me start over sure. again. All right, starting over. Uh, what made you come out to this particular event? Well, LuLaRoe is a company that believes in women being comfortable and being themselves. And I think that Girl is a very important organization that supports women in their, you know, need to break free from whatever, you know, relationship they're in that may not be supportive of them or may be dangerous to them. And I wanted to support Girl. And so I came out and, um, I you know, think it's a great organization and uh, want to help spread the word about such a great organization and event today. Now what are some products you got here? I see some scarves, some hats. So what is it that you're offering here today? A lot of people think our products, when they're all folded up, are scarves, but we are actually a skirt and dress company. We have um, a lot of longer skirts that have the yoga pants style waistband, so they're really stretchy and comfortable for women to wear all day at the office or running errands. And those come in size extra, extra small, which fits a size zero, all the way up to 3XL. So we really do have a little something for everyone. In addition, we have short skirts in three or four styles, some with that same comfortable waistband waistband, some with a, a newer style, individualized elastic waistband, and we have dresses as well, and we also are currently carrying leggings. Now, if someone wanted, was interested in this, uh, in the skirts and everything, where can they reach you, or do you have a storefront, or is that all still work? Um, I don't have a storefront. We're actually a national company. We're new to the Kansas City area, but all our skirts and dresses are made in the United States for LuLaRoe. Um, you can cannot contact me locally either through my Facebook page, which is facebook.com backslash LuLaRoe, K-C, L-U-L-A-R-O-E-K-C, or you can always contact me um, on my phone, which is 816-548-7067. We'll have all that available on KC, on, I mean, not KC online, eye to eye, kc.com. All right. Okay. All right. So what made you make, what made you came out here today? Uh, well, first of all, uh, I support what they're doing, you know, um, violence. Uh, against women is definitely an issue that should be addressed and also uh, the vendor opportunity 
uh, that they provided. Uh, it was a great opportunity for me to show my business, which is Kansas City Black Business. Um, basically, we need to support uh, black-owned businesses in our community. And I think you know any effort that's going to improve our community is uh, is, is worth uh, supporting. Okay. Okay. You mentioned uh, uh, black businesses, and what is your specific business all about? Uh, my business uh, is about promoting other black businesses and also making them accessible and easy to find for consumers. Uh, one issue that a lot of black businesses have in our community is that people don't know where they are, people don't know that they exist. Um, so my, my, best, my business is an online directory for black-owned businesses and it's designed to help consumers find those businesses and also for black-owned businesses to get that exposure. So it's kind of like a networking type of thing, right? Right, right. All right, so was there, I think it was an event that was uh, hosted down at the, uh, min not municipal, but uh, I can't think of it, but it was a, um, kind of like a, uh, um, I can't think of it, like a networking shopping thing. Right, by Black, 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 yes, yes. And I'm saying municipal, but it's uh, it was held at Mohar, yeah, yeah. Um, so how w was that successful, or how did that turn out? Um, actually, that was an event put on by the Buy Black Initiative uh, through NBUF. Uh, I greatly appreciate what they do, um, and I support them. Uh, I was not a part of that event. Uh, I was actually uh, out of town. I would have loved to have came, um, but I will actually be having an event on April 26th, Saturday, April 26th, at the same, uh, same location, the Mohart uh, Municipal uh, Building. And it will be, uh, the name of the event is called Why Buy Black? And I will have a, a, a guest speaker out uh, coming to talk about the importance of supporting the black community. I'll also have vendors there as well. Uh, if you have any, uh, any questions, you can email uh, vendors at kcblackbusiness.com if you're interested in becoming, I'm sorry, vendors at whybuyblack.com if you're interested in being a vendor. Uh, but that will be on April 26th, uh, and that's a Saturday. What are some things you got on sale for today? All right, so today I have my uh, black history calendars. Uh, every day has at least one fact. Some have more than one uh, black history fact. I think these are, are really needed, especially in the, uh, in, for the youth. A lot of the youth don't know the, uh, the good part of being black, and they don't know the good, the good side of our history. Um, so these calendars are $10 a piece. Uh, if you, if, for anyone who wants to purchase a calendar, uh, go to kcblackbusiness.com and click on Shop. You can also search eBay for Black History Calendar 2014. I also have a wristband that I'm selling. Uh, those are $2. Uh, those say I Buy Black, and I have one on right now. Uh, basically, I want to make it the cool thing to do, supporting black businesses. So uh, wearing a wristband shows the world you know, loud and clear that uh, you, you support black businesses. All right, well, thank you so much. Times or meet new people, so it's nice to network and come to events like this that are um, bringing in people for you to network with, but I love being able to share um, my business with women, and that's what we're about, encouraging and enriching women's lives, and this is an event that is doing the same thing. Okay, what are some products you got here? I see Mary Kay, kind of like Avon, but nah, no, no. So, well, explain. I mean, they are in similar business things like each other, but um, the difference between Mary Kay and Avon, in my opinion, is that um, Mary Kay is specialized in finding needs and meeting the needs of the women. Um, Avon carries a lot of other items that more than just the skin care, and we focus specifically on skin. Well, what are some specific products you got here on this table today? Um, I have all of our I have all of our skincare lines, the Clear Proof line, the Miracle Set, and the Botanical Set. I have perfumes for women and men down at the end. I have some makeup items with me as well. Right. All right. Now, if someone if someone wanted these products, I wanted to take a look at these products. How can they get in touch with you? contact me by phone 816-286-7685 they can email me at j kindred k-i-n-d-r-e-d at maryk.com or my website www.maryk.com forward slash j kindred all right all right so what made you come to an event like this our company damsel on defense specializes in equipping empowering and educating women on safety and security 
Okay, now what are some specific products? I see the tasers and everything. So, what are some of the products that you're offering here today? We carry anywhere from just personal alarms and flashlights and um, safety kits for your car and first aid kits to pepper sprays and stun guns. If someone wanted to purchase these items, uh, where could they go? They can contact me. My name is Becky Perkins. Phone number is 816-695-1024. And we'll post a link on my website, or on the show's website, rather, eye2eyekc.com. All right. Thank you. So what made you come to an event like this to uh, kind of sell your items and everything? Well, I wanted to... Um, I wanted to be a part of this event because I'm really into uh, domestic violence, the whole hands-off movement. I think it's a very, very important thing that we all get together and support things like this here in the city and everywhere. Hopefully that it'll, it'll reach other places. But um, I wanted to do things that were specifically designed for this event just to show that women are beautiful and they deserve to be loved but first and foremost they have to love themselves and a lot of the things that I have created um, spe specifically for this event are the candles that I have I make them from scratch they're called imperfectly perfect because you know we have um, spots and wrinkles because we're none of us are perfect but in God's eyes we're perfect so some of the candles have different things on them like little blotches and stuff like that just to kind of simplify what I'm saying and I just think this is an awesome event, and I'll always support Girl. All right. Um, okay. Now, what are if someone if somebody wanted these gift baskets, how can they get in touch with you? Well, I have a Facebook. I'm on Facebook. Um, my whole site is specifically for Prattle Creations, and they can contact me there on Facebook or I have a phone number on here on my business card, so that's how they can contact me. Okay. On my website on i2ikc.com. So, uh, what is your business? What is, it, what is all of this? It's called Craftful Creations, in which I create and design a variety of different things. I do gift baskets, I do personalized coffee mugs, and just regular coffee mugs like these. These are just the regular coffee mugs. I do designer fragrance candles, I do aromatherapy candles, and I do this stuff all year round for birthdays, weddings, bachelorette shop parties, Christmas, every single holiday. Any special occasion, I can do it. Uh, you just you about to get another customer here. <laughs> <All right. laughs> now I gotta go get some cash though. Okay. Gotta go get some cash. Right. Uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. All right. This is just this is just some of the things. I also do like bake sets, Betty Crocker bake sets. Um, I can do it all. Even the even the little ingredients in the jar type do, of thing. Yes, I do do. It's called Craftful Creations, the cookie jar. And in the cookie jar, it's all of the dry ingredients that you'll need to make homemade cookies. All you do is dump it in a bowl and add the wet ingredients. And on the side, I'll have whatever wet ingredients that you need to add to it. And that's it. All right. Well, thank you for talking with me. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to put all that stuff online, all the information of your business online. Okay. So and I'll get in contact with you. All right, everyone, you, those were the vendors. Uh, you had a lot of people that were very uh, eager to support an event like this that targets um, the issue of domestic violence. And yours truly was nominated for an award of, for a community service award, and this award was about uh, eye to eye providing uh, prof our professional services here on the air. And I wish we could show this to you. Maybe I could, sh maybe I could show this to you over my face. Um, I want to say thank you to the people at uh, Girl, Voices of the People, Miss C, the Power Broker, 
uh, the mother of Brandon Allenton, and I want to say thank you to him as well. Now, this award doesn't just go to me. It goes to everyone that works hard here on I to I, Kansas City LLC. Uh, from our graphics package hub people that don't, that's not here in the building with us, and, and some other key people that are not here in the building with us on a day-to-day -day basis. They work at another, uh, they work at another uh, facility because we don't have enough room here. Uh, right now, and, and as our commitment is to connect people, to help people, to understand the people's needs. And I take that with a great integrity that we put or we bring uh, people on the air that is about that message each and every time we come on the air here. I don't take these honors and awards for granted. And it's not.